What's up, fellas? This is your boy, Darkel. Coming to you from the rig, man. So it's Tuesday. We about to hit the road. About to go to Quiet Flex, pick up a load, and um, we just leaving. Where we at? Hey, see right now, leaving this pilot. Just finished getting robbed. Because let's be straight up. That's exactly what was happening to us at these damn truck stops right now. We just straight up getting robbed, man. Getting mugged by the government. This, this fuel price is crazy. I mean, they have gone down a little bit. But that ain't nothing to celebrate. We still in the five dollar range, man. I know some places might be in the fours, but it's just ridiculous, man. But yeah, man. So yeah, just to touch real quick on the video from yesterday, guys. My bad. You know, I had to do a lot of editing. You know, I was calling it an eagle, and it might be an eagle. I don't know. I haven't seen the title on it. But usually, eagles they'll say eagle on the hood. You know what I'm saying? From what I know, from after looking at it real good, I know it didn't say eagle. I think it's just a 9200i international you know i'm not i'm not big on the internationals i don't know a lot about those tricks like i know what they are but like i know what the 9800i is and all that but i'm just not big on those engines and, you know i'm not big on the cummins isx engines either i'm more of a freightliner guy detroit guy you know stuff like that but the truck is fucking clean I mean, you guys seen the video man the inside of that truck is just so clean even i'm thinking about grabbing that bitch and putting it to run that maybach I mean, I got a couple people in my circle, man. Some of my, some of my boys, they want to grab that shit. You know, they're trying to finance it, but we're trying to see if I get my uncle to finance it, but I don't think he's trying to do that. He's trying to just, he's trying to sell that thing, but uh, it's clean, it's clean, man. But yeah, man, that's what it is, man. So we're going to go ahead right now and um, start preparing, man. We're going to start doing work to the Classic again. Y'all already know um, the Classic's probably going to end up staying white, man. I think I'm going to end up. You know, my paint on the side has got like these little buttons and the buttons are rust. I, 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 I'm gonna have to, I'm, I'm about to just paint it white with the, after painting the Black Beast, you know, with the roller and the spray gun, I was happy the way it came out. And I'm thinking, you know, how hard could it be to paint the truck in white? Cause the truck's already white. So we might be painting this truck in white with some of that sand white paint, go back and revisit that idea and paint the whole side. Cause I want to put my logo on the side of the truck, but I don't want to put it until I paint it. So I. I know the guy told me not to put that oil-based paint if you're planning on putting a real expensive paint job on this truck. But, man, I thought about it, man. The way shit is right now, man, I ain't going to spend no thousands of dollars on no goddamn paint job on my truck. And then a fucking rock flies out or a deer jumps out or some motherfucker backs into me or something. I'm, I'm going to do a fucking Rustolian paint job on this truck. And that's how we going to ride, man. That's that's just what it is. But uh, So we're going to revisit that and the floor. The floor, man, is where I'm really being conflicted with, man. The floor, I have the floor. I've had it since November. I just really don't know, man, if I want to go, if I want to redo, because I already know that I don't have to remove none of this floor here. The floor that, will, you know, it's already low enough where I can just get the quarter inch um, PVC board and pour, and just drop it right on top of this floor, zip it to this floor, and freaking, um, you know, and, and that's where I'm conflicted. I don't know if I should just go back and do the front half and epoxy, but use the real floor epoxy, because I used... I use that stuff on this floor, which is basically for bar top tables, which a lot of people use for epoxy, but that's more for like a table thing. Now that I, from, you know, I've been doing my research, the pot floor, my bad, I had a call come in. You know, the floor epoxy is a lot harder, and I'm thinking about just dropping some floor epoxy in the front half again, and just doing the back half with that, you know, vinyl wood floor, the black vinyl wood floor that I got. So we're going to see how we're going to do about that, but we definitely got to get that done, man. The... The Terminator, you know, my classic is gonna have to go to the shop. I'm noticing a little bit of cooling coming out of one of the connectors. There's a hose that goes from it goes from the top and goes down into something, and it's there's like a I don't even know what it is, but I, I, it keeps getting wet. It's not like a big leak, but it's it's cooling coming out through there. So I gotta get that addressed, and uh, that's what that is. And uh, so we got we got the floor. We we looking to paint the classic. We got some stuff coming to the classic, man. We got some stuff coming for the classic. And as far as the Black Beast, the Black Beast needs a new radiator, man. Those radiators and those Dodge Rams, like those second-gen Dodge Rams, like mine's a 99, the side of those radiators, they're plastic with the aluminum center. Now, they do sell an all-aluminum radiator. Them bitches cost like fucking $500 or shit. Fuck that. I'm going to buy the radiator that costs $150, the same one that's in there right now. Those shits last years. So what happens is that these radios are plastic on the side and with time, you know, they get, especially when you're running them in water, they get rotted out. And I guess in the pro it wasn't leaking before. In the process of me changing the hoses, doing the flush, you know, messing around, all that shit down there, you know, I guess, it, you know, that shit gets brittle and it probably has a crack somewhere. And it doesn't leak while you're driving, but when you stop the truck, you'll know, I'll notice like a little puddle there in the morning, like a little, it's leaking, it's leaking from the driver's side. 
and I already know what it is. It's that radiator that's leaking. I already got down and looked at it. So I thought at first I thought it was a spigot that was leaking, but it's not. It's the radiator. So we're gonna be picking up that radiator, and that's another video coming for the Black Beast. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be changing the radiator on that. I don't think it's too hard. I think it's just there's um usually there's a shroud on top. Mine doesn't have that shroud. Whoever had this truck took it off. Which I thank God you don't really need that shit there. So all it is is two bolts holding the radiator on top, and then the two hoses that go to it. And some radiators have a transmission cooler line through. I don't think mine has that for the gas ones. So we'll see, but we're gonna make a video on that. But that's coming for the Black Beast. Aside from that, man, we're just gonna be riding, man. You know, guys, like I said in the last video, guys, if you guys saw the video on the International, the 92i, and you're interested in that truck, man, hit me up, hit me up. We can negotiate that thing, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, like I said, man, if, if it sits there too much longer, man, I'm, I'm gonna pretty much convince my uncle, let me put that shit and run that Maybach. But uh, I'm actually wanting to go out of that shit and run that shit for at least a couple of weeks. I'm gonna wait till, you know, I might, I, I might end up going out a couple of weeks just to make sure the truck's running good before we put somebody in. And if we go that route, to make sure that truck is running. I'm just, I just want to go out in that truck. That truck is so clean on the inside. You know what I'm saying? I've never driven in an international. I would like to go out and experience it. That big old boat steering wheel. But that's what it is, man. Guys, as far as automatic transmission, I'm not a fan of automatic transmission at all. At all. Now, that Chinese is working fine. You know, the truck's running fine, you know. All old trucks got to catch air. You got, you got, you know, when you first start, you got to let it build up all the air because you know those trannies, they work off air. Got to let it build up the air before we can ride. But <clears throat> I'm curious to see how that thing runs, man. I'm thinking, like I said, that truck has all brand new tires. The video, the steers look like you got a lot of, you know, dirt on them. That's just because a lot is dirt. But those tires are brand new, zero miles. The drives, the steers, all brand new tires, brand new drums, brand new brakes. You know, you guys already saw the chassis, the condition that chassis is in. This truck, man, this truck is clean, clean, clean. I'm, I'm going to tell you, if, if, if it don't sell soon, I'm going to convince my uncle, let me take that motherfucker on the road. But I would love to drive it one of the international to see what it's like. And if I like it a lot, shit, I might stay with it. Or, or I might, you know, see if, I know one of my boys wants it bad. One of my boys, he wants it bad. You know, he just he just can't can't drive that, that much, that, you know, he can't come with with 25k or something to offer right now but he i know he'll definitely can pay it off so i you know we're gonna see i'm always looking out for my boys man if i take it out for a run and i see that truck is is being you know what i'm saying like reliable yeah man we might do some business man but guys for right now it is for sale 25k is what it's listed for negotiable price call me up or him i mean hit me up in the comments so we can link up and then we you know we get connected and you can you know we'll talk about that but that's what it is, fellas. We're going to pick up this load, get riding, and we're going to head back to Florida and uh, try to get this job done on the, on the Black Beast. Well, maybe not this weekend, because this weekend is Easter. Y'all know, man, that uh got to give God this weekend. So it's probably going to be the next weekend. But that's what it is, fellas. Your boy, Doug Kell. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.